Ludwig Göransson is one of the most prolific modern composers and producers on the rise, no doubt due to his extensive work with Ryan Coogler, but also working behind the scenes for people like Donald Glover. It's interesting to note that, aside from his musical endeavours, he's always had an interest in fashion. His sister is a fashion designer and her work in London always had a trickle-down effect on how he viewed style and individuality. Now keep this in mind as I move on to his music. His dad was a teacher and his mum a florist. When Ludwig heard Enter Sandman by Metallica, he started to practice guitar relentlessly, but then he also started delving into jazz guitar. He spent most of his time in his family's basement learning production basics such as drum machines and 8-track recorders. It was at this time that he fell in love with soundtracks. He was at the Royal College of Music in Stockholm for a bit before leaving for USC. Ryan Coogler was a fellow student there and Locks was one of the best pieces that Ludwig scored. It was a precursor to Fruitvale Station. Something that people don't know is that while in Stockholm, he took time off to study the music of different tribes in West Africa. It was his first glimpse into the complexities of rhythms and musical scope beyond what Western audiences would normally gravitate towards. The NBC sitcom community, where Glover was a lead, was where Ludwig gained a strong grounding and was one of the first consistent compositional projects that he gained. He worked on that show for six whole years, and it gave him the skills to be able to write in many different styles. If you listen to the community soundtrack, you will realise this. It's funny because his foray into hip-hop came from Glover reaching out to him by chance for engineering purposes, when he started adding suggestions on adding live drums and new instruments. That's how the song So Fly was made, and he's been working with Danny Glover ever since then, even scoring some of my favourite shows including Atlanta. He works with certain people and uses music to speak to people, to connect to one's soul. To him, music calls out injustice, it celebrates life and it reunites us all at the same time. For Granton, the whole experience of making Awaken My Love was an extension of his experimentation. This Is America began with a random hook and then it had layers on top of more layers that were added over a disjointed two year gap. The fundamental process that drove Ludwig and Ryan Coogler during the making of Black Panther was authenticity. The question of how do you show something as is? In Western classical music with an orchestra, there is a focus on the orchestral melodies and harmonies. However, in African music, the biggest focus is on rhythms and counter rhythms, the complexities there. The key thing to overcome for Black Panther's score was really the need to put these elements into a traditional score and then also implement the 808 kicks and hip-hop influences for Killmonger's theme for example. And then over all of those things managed to maintain the African identity as such. How can we keep it true to the culture was the overlying message here. He got Baba Mal's number through a friend and member of the band Mumford & Sons. Mal immediately invited Goranson and his wife to join him on tour in Dakar. When they arrived at the first show in a small village, it was 3 o'clock in the morning and the concert started at 4am. He mentioned that it's sometimes tough for him to go back and listen to his early childish Gambino tracks, but he also stated that he wishes he reminisced more often. He noted that there's that questioning yourself stage, which I can understand, because when you're doing something and not getting results, the very notion of knowing who you are becomes somewhat muddled. Ultimately though, for Ludwig, there hasn't really been a change for him in the way he works. He stated that he still works with the same intensity and inspiration of wanting to do something different, and therefore pushing the boundaries of what he's heard. Mandy, the 2019 thriller with Nicolas Cage, scored by the late Johan Johansson, was one standout soundtrack that made him go, whoa, I need to stop practicing myself in between projects. Speaking to Schoen magazine, he also mentioned how he's not doing a hundred projects at one time, but instead he has a focus on going into a new world every time he enters a different project. Note that down, a new world. That means having the scope to understand all of the little components that make up that world, not just the bare minimum score or sounds needed to get the audience's attention. He knows and really admits that sound is an extension of the characters that are presented on screen and also really an extension of the narrative on screen. And the better that you can build up those things, 
the subtle nuances, the better audiences are going to be able to connect. For Creed, for example, he went into a boxing gym and recorded a boxer training for two days straight. And that was how a lot of the beats for that film and its sequel were made. Now that Ludwig is working with Christopher Nolan on Tenet, there is a clear truth to the statement practice makes perfect. He's been composing for nearly 15 years plus now and his work has reached the precipice of modern entertainment. By forcing himself to change his project sounds entirely every time, he's managed to build a core sense of adaptability while widening his reach. And that's why I think he's one of the rising stars of this next decade.